Hey guys, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles. I want to introduce one of my helpers today. This is uh, one of Question Girl's cats. This is Max. He is probably the friendliest cat in the world. And every now and then, Max likes to sneak in here when we're working and try to help us with snakes. And I just found him in here today as we're getting ready to film. So this would be the one and only, or maybe not one and only, but one of the very few cute cat we have to check this out. I love this. We're going to do snakes, I promise. But look, you can flip this cat over and give him belly rubs. He doesn't care. Just loves it. Like, if I stop, see how he holds on? I let go, he'll be like, no, come back! Alright, I'm going to kick him out. Bye-bye, Max. He's been fun, but it's time for him to go. And on the snakes we go. Alright. Today, we're going to talk about a little bit of a rant subject. And, uh, this is near and dear to my heart. So, and you can look back, I left it on there unless the uh, jackass went and deleted it. And I don't try to swear on this too much, but that guy actually earned a lot more terms than that. It's one of our Cayman videos. I think it was a live feed with GoPro. Some of you squeamish people, be wary of that. Uh, and we got a comment. And the comment was basically something to the effect that, uh, I'm not going to say it word for word, but um, they saw a question girl in the video. And you could just see it was a person in a green hoodie, and you could see her hand. It's the only part where you saw the audio is really hard because of GoPro. And so you hear my voice talking. Then you see her hand go and grab the clicker we used to indicate to the caiman it's going to feed. She clicks it, right? And then I feed the caiman. Pretty simple little video. However, since this person uh, saw her hand and heard my voice, and her fingernails were painted like she tends to do, he just made an assumption that that was my hand. Fair enough. And then he made some comment, basically referencing that, one, apparently I should move to Canada, and two, uh, I don't know why Canada, pretty hateful to anybody who is uh, of the LGBTQ or how many of the letters I'm supposed to put in that now. But basically if you're gay, he was really slashing on that, uh, drop the F word, not the one that rhymes with fire truck, and basically said I should move to Canada and all kinds of other crap. I did make a fairly nasty comment back, as I'm <laughs> known to kind of do, and kind of told him what I thought of him, and that he could remove himself from society if he so pleases. The point I want to make is, you know, this is kind of a channel that's for everybody, and I'm not here to tell you what you have to think, or what you have to believe, or how you have to feel. That's not my job. I don't plan on doing that, and frankly, it's none of my business. But one thing I won't have on here is I really won't deal with hate speech. I got no place for it. If you really want to dislike somebody because they're different than you, I mean, I guess it's a free country, uh, but don't bring it here because it's just, it's not my bag. Uh, you know, I come, from a, I come from a background, a religion that teaches me to love everybody equally. So I don't care who you are. I don't care what color you are. I don't care who you want to spend your time in the bedroom with. I don't really give two craps. So, hopefully, if that guy's watching, one, again, if you do watch this, and he's blocked so you can't comment back, do feel free to remove yourself from society any way you see fit. And also, uh, let's nobody else be hateful on here. Sound good? I mean, if you want to give me crap, I don't care. But I'm not going to tolerate hating somebody just because they're different, whether it's their color, their religion, or their uh, choice of sexual partner. Fair enough? Unless it's like kids. If your choice of sexual partner is children, then we can be hateful to you. So if you are a piece of crap child molester, then you can also remove yourself from society. But other than that, everybody is welcome. So that's kind of my rant today. Don't be a hateful douche. It's pretty simple. Like, it's not hard. It's really not. Uh, and again, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's common courtesy and decency. I don't know who goes out there and goes on a crazy rant like that. And what, I guess I'm going on a crazy rant now against it. But, my God, man, what are you hoping to accomplish? Well, that guy was a dipshit. All right, so that's kind of my whole rant about how we should conduct ourselves. And 99.99% of you do just fine, and I appreciate it. And I'm sure the 99.99% agree with me that uh, we're not going to tolerate a bunch of hateful ass wipes around here. So, we'll move on. Kurt, what kind of snakes should we talk about today? Because that was really what my point on this was. But we got to show a snake. Which one? Um, you want to do a clutch update? Clutch update and rant? Clutch update and rant. Let's talk about 
the, uh, what was the last video? The banana pinstripe clutch. I am extremely excited with this clutch. Show you this one first. Kind of go basic to begin with. Look at that. I did sex this. This is a little male. These guys still, they look huge, but they've only eaten once. Not even all of them have eaten yet. So they are available through Patreon for pre order. Otherwise, there'll be a few weeks for anybody else. But just a really nice, clean pen. Good pattern. Really cool. Awesome looking little snake. It is a male. And if you remember when I cut those, I said I really don't even, I said I was going to sex them, but I said I had a pretty good guess. That, all the banana stuff was male, and all the non-banana stuff was female. Well, the pinstripe made a liar out of me. And that is question number 12. So I can find the other number 12 in here. He's hiding from me somewhere. Where did you go? I will find him at some point. But we've got a few other ones I want to show you. This is another one I'm going to show you, but this one is probably the most exciting one of the whole group. And this one you can't have. This one's mine. This is a holdback. And look at that. Should I get it more over here in the light, Kurt? Is that better? I am just enthralled. It's got a really weird spot on its head right there behind its eye. That orange coming up right there. It's kind of kind of strange. Also, if you look, there's just a whole lot of white in here coming through. Now, one of the possible dads, and the one I'm pretty sure is dad based on the pattern and color that he shows, is was sold to us as a possible calico. I never really believed the calico was in there after I had it for a while in the shed a few times, but looking at this, it almost makes me question it. I still don't see a lot of tail pattern aberrations, but man, you can see a lot of that pink. So we'll see as she sheds, if maybe we got lucky. I'm not claiming anything to be calico, but wow, I'm just enthralled. Here's the other kicker. This is a girl. So of all my talk, all the bananas are going to be boys. All the other ones will be females. Pinstripe was a boy, and this banana was a female. Kurt keeps asking if I bought my lottery ticket. And I've read that the odds are anywhere from 1 in 10 from a male maker to make a female up to like 1 in 100. So I'm not sure where they really lie. But all I know is uh, we got lucky and it's female. I do have a theory of how come we have a female. Okay, and I'll show you that theory right here. It's in the pattern. So if you take a really close look at this, I think if you end up with a, uh, a penis and balls pattern on its back, since that's already there, maybe it doesn't have one internally. I, I don't know. <laughs> that's a joke. That's not legit. But anyway, really excited about having a female banana that we hatched out ourselves. That makes me happy. Now, on to some other ones that are available. Check this thing out. I mean, guys, these guys are... Oh, you took a poop in there already. That's good. Pinstripe bananas. And again, look at that. You're starting to see a lot of pink. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. But all I do know is that those I am extremely, extremely excited for. Here's another one. And again, you kind of see the same thing going on. Hey, don't you be... Oh, he got me. I was going to try to ball you up, but you tagged me. See, again, if he wants to be violent, we can just ball him up just like that. Put him back in his hole. You go be good. And, look, there it is. Ah, oh, I got bit! Again, this is something we don't ever try to do, but it does happen. There's no little teeth in there, so we're good. But just a pattern is so pretty on there. I know, you're violent. I'm going to put you up. I'm going to put you up so you can calm down. Angry, angry little monkey. And that's going to happen sometimes. There's just no way around it. Now, this is the other one. We got three of these. These are all boys. But look at how much white is in this one too, especially. I mean, when you compare those two. I don't know. What do you guys think? Something else going on? Maybe? Couldn't tell you. But anyway... Really excited. These banana pins came out just prettier than I could have even hoped for. Just look at that purple in there. Just, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Really cool head. 
I'm enamored with these. We are going to sell all three. Reason being, I don't need any more boys. And over here, Kurt, you know, as I'm telling him, hey, we got a female, one of the bananas. He goes, with a banana pin? I said, no, it was regular banana. That sucks. Really? You greedy bastard. Be happy. <laughs> I was excited. He kind of killed my excitement. And then, as always, because no clutch goes perfect, what do we get? One normal. <laughs> and you can see some pink in its sides, but it's definitely not a calico. It would show in the pattern, I think. Really neat snake. Look how busy the belly is. However, I don't see like what I would think to see for yellow belly or anything like that. It's just a really busy looking animal. So, anyway, that's our banana pin. Kurt, you got any questions? Yeah, did you buy your lottery ticket? Did I buy my lottery ticket? No, I'm going to wait until it goes up a little more. And all I'm doing now, guys, the reason I'm disinfecting is whenever you do get bit by a snake, they are not known for brushing their teeth. So you do want to disinfect that a little bit just to prevent infection. It's really the only danger in a snake bite. So it's good. And you can see there's nothing there. I mean, there's three teeth holes right there. I can maybe get them to bleed. One of them. So they're, you're talking pinpricks at best. Doesn't hurt. You know, I could see it coming. I just didn't think he would go that quick, and I thought I could cover him first. And, well, I was wrong. So that happens sometimes. All right, Kurt, any other questions? No. All right, guys, that has been my little rant about just, you know, be nice to each other. And even if you don't like what other people do, just kind of maybe keep that to yourself here, you know. Um, and our banana pinstripe clutch. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.